Hey guys, Anish Welder here from TechVision360 and today I have an announcement for you guys and an app vision. The application which we will be reviewing today is one of my favorite applications. The application is called King Camera. This is one of my favorite photography applications and there's a lot to it. So, um, I will make a few videos highlighting the different features of this application and how they can be used. And to know where these features are, just click anywhere around here to be redirected to the playlist. The application in question today, like I said before, is King Camera. So let's go right ahead now and open the application. It's very easy. The application opens to a camera screen. I'll just quit the screen and go directly to the photo desk. But just show you guys over here. You have a couple different features that you can use in this. You can use a timer over here. You can use anti-shake, sound, and burst mode. You can also, if you also see the big sign. The big sign means as you can see now, there is a green s rectangle around the screen area. This means that if you click anywhere on the screen, a picture will be taken. There's also time lapse mode, a white balance lock, is contrast, and grid mode. There are also some more settings t in the settings section over here. Now let's go directly, I'll show you guys my photo desk. In the photo desk, as you can see here, let me just import a photo from my, from my photo stream. Let me just import a photo over here. Scrolling up, because that's how I do it. Found this, found this photo over here. I uh, found this photo over here, so take it and I'll just, uh, as you can see here in the photo, when I click on it, there are some options. The options are Q, P, I, and C. So now let me show you guys what these options do. If I click I, it'll open up the informations of, information settings of this picture close this up if I click C it enables me to copy the picture so now I'll just go ahead and show you guys quickmatic which is the Q button and then later on I will show you guys promatic in another video so you can click quickmatic from the bottom navigation bar over here and as you can see, there are many different features available to you in color, monochrome, toy cam, and themes. Basically, I can just click any which one of them. And they all look really good, personally. Find whichever one suits your photo. And basically, the effect is overlapping. Effect is overlapping the actual picture. So you can adjust the slider to change the intensity so I'll just close that out and to go back to your photo desk if you want just click photo desk but for now I'll choose a random random feature and apply it so as you can see here in my picture there is a mini sign which says 2 this means that when I open the, if I want to browse the picture, which comes from the browse section down below in the navigation bar, and I click browse, I'll see this picture. But if I swipe to the right, I have my original picture. So this means that you can edit your picture more than once. Uh, I'll show you a good example of this with this photo I took of myself on New Year's Eve over here. So this was the original photo in the start 
which was pretty bland and bad darkness value so just I made it like that and then like that and like that and like that and that so one thing I want to just state is that with this application you can't you shouldn't really be trying to use quickmatic that much I'll tell you guys later why that is in the Promatic tutorial but basically quickmatic um, is only to store your themes which you create in Promatic so I'll get to that later guys another thing I want to show you uh, how powerful this application is is from this photo which I took and yes it's nothing wrong with the camera the photo is actually very bad and dark I could get this much detail so now if I wanted to edit the photo I just have to open it in Promatic or Quickmatic. So I'll show you guys that later on in the Promatic tutorial. As you can see in the Promatic tutorial, I'll probably be editing the exposure of this photo because it is too much. Too much exposure in this photo. So that's probably what I'll be doing. Anyways guys, this is it for the review. Let me get on to my likes and my dislikes. Okay guys, so um, right now with my likes and my dislikes, I'll only be telling you about my likes and the dislikes about the Quickmatic, the photo desk, and the camera. So I'll start with likes as usual because I like to be positive. And what I like about this application, I like how powerful the effects can be in Quickmatic itself. And I like that in Quickmatic, you can edit it and they have so many preset effects for you. Let me just show you guys this over here. The preset. These are the preset um, themes that you have. They range, like I said, from monochrome, toy cam, and this. Uh, as you can see here, do you see rainbow radiance? Let me just click on that over here. Mm, this is actually one of them which I created by myself. Doesn't really suit this picture, but uh, this is one of the things I, sh I show you by creating it myself. I think I forgot to mention this before, but this application is free. And just putting that this out there that to all of you guys who say, Oh my God, why is he reviewing this application? It's free. I want, I want paid applications reviewed. I have reviewed a paid application in the past, Oven Break, I think, and uh, my goal for AppVision as a segment in my TechVision channel is not to bring you guys paid reviews only. I, I also want to bring you guys reviews of applications which I enjoy, which aren't that famous. For example, I wouldn't have heard of King, King Camera if it wasn't for uh, Genius on the App Store. Which, because I download a lot of photography applications, so if it wasn't for Genius on the App Store, I wouldn't have found this application. So maybe you guys want photography applica applications, but aren't recommended by Genius. Anyways, so what do I like about the photo desk? Firstly, I like how you can save a copy instead of overriding your original photo. So you have an original photo, you can swipe, you have all the edited versions in what they call a stack. I think that's a pretty neat feature and as I, um, gonna, I'm going to show you in a second, uh, after I talk about the camera likes and dislikes, I mean likes, uh, the camera has many features. I personally have downloaded applications with just timer or just time lapse but this has all of them included in one so I think that's pretty fantastic and that's really really good so now let's talk about a few dislikes of this application um, mainly I have no major dislikes this is a very positive review of King Camera but a couple of things I do dislike are how the camera zoom actually ruins the quality more than if you zoom on the normal camera I'm not sure if that's just my phone or if that's everyone's in total but it seemed that way. It seems that way for me. Uh, also, um, it's also it's easy uh, to share on this thing, on this, which is a like. But a couple other dislikes I have are 
sadly the features which are a little bit too limited uh, actually the features are a lot but I would like it better if they had features for specific purposes so like landscape feature would uh, if, you, where if you take a landscape picture like I showed you guys before you can perfectly enhance it to look like a good landscape picture uh, because uh, otherwise in the other themes which I tried it kind of ruins the exposure the contrast and the white balance and all that kind of stuff so overall this is a good review I'll just get a hit to the review where I show you guys the one touch sharing alright guys so I'm showing you guys the one touch sharing feature in this I'll just go back to my photo desk here click on one of my photos and as you can see here in the bottom I have a share option in the navigation menu so just tap on that and once you have your account set up your email address set up if you want to email it for example here I have my Facebook account set up I can easily share my photos to Facebook and email my pictures just like that just by clicking go so if I haven't checked already see I shared one photo and I go back see here the cancel button I click cancel and I go back and next time I want to share a different photo say I want to share this one so I click the share button and it's already checked Facebook which I clicked before is already checked so therefore all I have to do is click go and I'm on it but it, you, you do have to set up your account which is also important as well so basically the, this is the sharing feature it's another strong part of this application which I enjoy a lot because I like sharing my pictures on Facebook which I can then make my profile picture and whatnot so guys the um, announcement that I wanted to make today is that actually my school started so my videos will not be coming out as frequently as they were in the holidays during the Chinese New Year break uh, I will be posting videos once twice or thrice a week twice or thrice for that week but right now I'll be uh, preparing all my videos on Fridays on Fridays and I'll post one on Friday and this is the Friday one obviously and I'll post one again on Monday or Tuesday and the videos will vary Friday will most likely be app vision but Monday will be a review or a tutorial or something of that sort guys that was it for the review of the application King Camera um, personally now I'm gonna just say that this application is a must download I rate it how many what I say I rate it five stars on the application store um, the stars won't come up this time on the screen because my software failed but I do rate it five stars just to show you guys that now I rate this application five stars on the app store for being so fantastic and for allowing me to make such great pictures so thanks for watching guys can you rate rate my um, video like it comment on it subscribe and favorite it and the most important guys if you have a Facebook account I know I say this a lot please share this video please share it if you like this video just share it it takes one tap it takes one but button two buttons actually button presses two button presses and you can share the video and you can give me a lot more views and you can share this video if you liked it with your friends so thanks for watching guys once again share comment favorite subscribe all that good stuff see you guys later bye